Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I help you create your magic and create your dream life. Sometimes I get stuck in the same routine, I do the same activities over and over again, and I really like to just change things up a bit, learn a new skill, and have some fun. So that's why I did a little bit of research for this video and came up with some different hobby ideas that I could share with you guys. Maybe if you're interested in learning something new and trying something different this summer, this video is gonna give you some ideas of some creative hobbies that you can try for yourself. So the first hobby that I want to talk about is painting. Now I know painting supplies can be really expensive, but you don't have to spend a lot of money to pick up some of these hobbies. So for painting, you can really just go to the dollar store, pick up some cheap canvases and paint brushes and paints, and just try it out and see if you like it before you invest any money in painting supplies. So what I really like about painting is you can really create some amazing abstract art pieces. I love looking at the watercolor art on Pinterest to get inspiration and I've really been wanting to try painting for myself because it feels super therapeutic. So I thought I would just suggest painting in this video because I thought you guys might like it. I think it's a really great way to just bring out your creativity and maybe lessen some of your anxiety. I think painting would be a really great way to just de-stress, spend some time with yourself doing something creative. Another hobby that I've been seeing a lot lately and I think it's really gaining popularity is embroidery. If you go on Etsy, you can find these cute little rings with patterns in them and people create art out of string and it's super cool. Just like painting, I think embroidery is also super therapeutic. It gives you a chance to just spend some time with yourself doing something creative. And if you're kind of like a logical person, you like working with your hands, it's also a good way to like look at a pattern and then do something with your hands and see your creation come to life. So if you're interested in embroidery, I think it would be a really fun hobby to try. This next hobby is one that I really wanna try for myself and that's calligraphy. I was at the bookstore the other day and I saw some different books of how to perfect your handwriting and start calligraphy. And where I love quotes so much, I really love seeing canvases with really pretty writing on them with quotes. I think that would be so fun to do myself and maybe hang up a nice photo in my apartment of my calligraphy. So I really wanna try that. It looks so satisfying if you see videos on the internet of people with really nice handwriting that have kind of like perfected their calligraphy. So I think doing calligraphy practicing your handwriting is also a really fun creative hobby. Guys, I wish I had started this hobby earlier because I think it is so important and it's such a good skill to have, and that's sewing. You can do so much with sewing, whether that's making your own clothes or repairing clothes that have ripped, and you can also make clothes look better. Say you like to go thrift shopping, you can buy something at the thrift store and then sew it into something totally different and make it look even cuter than it was when you bought it. I know there's people that make a lot of money off of sewing, like depending on what your business is. Some people do buy clothes at thrift stores and then totally remake them and resell them for a profit. So I think sewing is such a good, fun hobby to start, but it's also really practical too. If you're someone who likes writing, this next hobby is for you and that is writing a book. I spent a few months writing my ebook, Build Your Budget, Build Your Dream Life, and I found it so fun. I love the process of writing, coming up with my own creative ideas, and I really liked just spending some time alone going to coffee shops and working on my book. I thought it was a really good creative outlet for me and it was just really good. Like if I was ever stressed out, I just spent some time writing my book and it really helped me. So if you're interested in writing, maybe think about creating an ebook and also make a profit off it. Another super fun hobby that I wanna suggest to you is interior design. There are so many books on this, so many resources online where you can kind of teach yourself how to do interior design or how to be a better designer. And I think it's really Really fun just to kind of learn like what colors and patterns go good together and you can also learn how to rearrange your space so that it works better for you and it's more aesthetically pleasing. I think interior design is really fun and it's something that I'm gonna try and teach myself more about because right now I'm not a very good decorator but I wish I was one of those people that could just look at a room and see like what pieces would go good where and what colors would look good with like what furniture. The next hobby that I want to talk about is scrapbooking and when I was little I I 
went through a phase where I loved scrapbooking. I would take my camera everywhere, take really amateur pictures of me and my friends, and then print them out and put them in a scrapbook. And I always loved finding different like stickers and different way to reorganize the photos. And why I think scrapbooking is so important these days is because all of our photos are online and it's not very often that we go and actually print out photos that we can touch and see. So that's why I think scrapbooking is really fun, a good way to capture memories and also a good way to just like be creative and find different ways to organize your photos, use different materials and stuff to create a really nice book and memory for yourself. Dancing is another really fun hobby that I wanted to mention in this video. I wish there were more like adult dance classes around because the only ones that I ever see advertised are for kids, but dancing is such a good form of physical activity. It doesn't really feel like you're working out and it's really fun. So sometimes I'll put on like a dancing video on YouTube. This is something really great that you can do because you can pretty much take a dance class online and not have to pay for it. Dancing is so much fun and such a good way to release stress and just get some more physical activity in your life. So if you haven't been dancing in a while or you just did it when you're a kid, try and pick it back up again because it's super fun. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you liked it and I hope it gave you some ideas for some creative hobbies that maybe you can try this summer. If you did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and also hit the red subscribe button if you're new so that you can join our YouTube family. I have my website, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook all linked down below for you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.